Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Hello, Calvary. Today brings us to our last day together focused on Samuel. Well, actually, that's not totally true. Really, all we have done is get set up for Samuel to lead Israel. Samuel is a transitionary leader. He takes Israel from being led by judges. And in fact, Samuel is the last judge of Israel and brings Israel under the leadership of a king. So how did Samuel judge Israel? Let's read some of Samuel 7 and find out. In uh, verses 3 through 6, you hear a little bit more about Samuel. And Samuel said to all the house of Israel, If you are returning to the Lord with all your heart, then put away the foreign gods and the Ashtaroth from among you and direct your heart to the Lord and serve him only. And he will deliver you out of the hands of the Philistines. So the people of Israel put away the Baals and the Ashtaroths and they served the Lord only. Then Samuel said, gather all Israel at Mizpah and I will pray to the Lord for you. So they gather, gathered at Mizpah and drew water and poured it out before the Lord and fasted on the day and said there, we have sinned against the Lord. And Samuel judged the people of Israel at Mizpah. So Samuel led Israel into repentance. He had them turn from their false worship and they, he had them put their hope and their trust in the Lord put the Lord first in their hearts. This is the model of faith that we saw in Samuel's mother, Hannah. It is also the type of love that Jesus encourages us to have towards God. Love him with all you are. Make God first in your life and in your heart. Every decision gets brought to God first. Every day starts with God first. But just because God has first place in a life doesn't mean that all the troubles are gone. In 1 Samuel 7, we learn that the Philistines decide to attack the Israelites again, especially since they had gathered together and they're listening to Samuel. So in the midst of the attack, Samuel responds with worship. He tells the people to cry out to the Lord. He sacrifices to the Lord and the Lord responds. This is so different from what the Israelites did when they used the Ark of the Covenant as a good luck charm. Instead, this time they sought the Lord and he answered them. God sent a large amount of thunder that then confused the Philistines and helped the Israelites to attack and defeat their enemy. So what battle are you going through? Whatever it is, are you crying out to the Lord for help? Are you looking in God's word for direction? I hope that this passage that God, that you see God answering their cry, I hope that you too find that hope and you see God move on your behalf for whatever challenge is in front of you. Now take a minute and look at verse 15. It says, Samuel judged Israel all the days of his life. And he went on a circuit each year to Bethel, Gilgal, and Mizpah. And he judged Israel in all these places. Then he would return to Ramah, for his home was there. And there also he judged Israel. And he built there an altar to the Lord. So Samuel was unique in his leadership. He was generally a good judge. There weren't any major character flaws recorded as there are with some of the other judges. He did what was right almost all the time. And as Samuel led Israel, God spoke to Israel and God led Israel through the leadership of Samuel. Now, Samuel is going to be an integral part in the next phase of Israel's history. He will usher in the kingship of Saul and David. But I'm getting ahead of myself and there's going to be another pastor that will talk to you about that stuff. But this last week, we learned several things from Samuel's history. First, 
Seeking God when we are desperate invites God to work. Second, putting God first in our lives and in our family changes the trajectory of our legacy and of our society. Number three, worshiping God the right way and honoring him is a non-negotiable. And number four, remember that only Jesus is worthy to stand before the Lord and we must trust in him. We'll learn more from Samuel in the days to come, but I hope that this introduction to Samuel, the last judge of Israel, has been helpful to you. Have a blessed day, Calvary.